a remote branch. Let's discuss a couple of things here. When we have a Git repository on our own, there are high chances that it might be untidy. And when we think of reorganizing everything and putting everything together, we might end up having a branch in one of the repository which is supposed to be on a different repository. I ended up in that situation. So that's why I fixed it and I want to share how I fixed it with you all. So hope it helps in your uh, situation as well. So first thing we're going to see here is how to copy the branch from the existing remote to a new remote. And secondly, we're going to see how to copy branch files from the existing remote to the new remote's existing empty branch. So the first one, uh, copy the branch from the existing remote to the new remote. So let's see how to do that. So I have the branches open already for this video purpose. So my main branch, uh, main repository is called Python basics, where I have all the branches I put by mistake, I put all the branches um, in one uh, repository, but they're all unique branches. I sh I'm not going to merge these branches with the master at any time. So I want to move all these branches to an individual repository. So let's take uh, one of the branch in in this example, I'm going to pick my password manager project, and I have to move it to the new repository. So for the purpose of this demo, I have already created a, pro, a repository called Project uh, Password Manager. Sorry, it's called Password Manager Project. So I'm going to move the Password Manager branch from Python Basics to the Password Manager uh, repository. So I have already created a repository in the name of Password Manager, which you can already see here. So if you want to create a new repository, you can always uh, go to the new repository page. Uh, which is something you have to go from um, your project. Let me, uh, these are the recent repositories. You can go to your repositories and then you can click on new. Then you give the repository name, then scroll down and click on new uh, create repository. That would create a new repository for you. So going back to this uh, purpose of the video. So imagine I'm assuming you have already created your repository, uh, something like this in my case so it's password manager it's an empty repository it's not having any branch in it it's not having any files basically i want all the files that are there in this particular uh, branch in python basics repository so the problem with copy pasting everything over there is you can't copy paste the folder it has to be an individual file so it's it's quite uh, tricky so let's see how to do that the first thing you have to do you have to check out to this parent repository and to the branch, which is called password manager in my case, which I have already done it. Uh, so this is my password manager um, branch, as you can see in the bottom, and it's in the parent um, repository A. So now I want to move this password manager to the repository B. So let's see how to do that. So first thing, since you have already created your repositories, uh, both the repositories are set and new repository is also there. Let's see how to uh, check what are the repositories that you've got. So in order to do that, let's type git and then uh, remote space hyphen v. And that would give you the repositories that you have already. So as you can see, one is origin and the other one is new. So the, the parent repository of mine is nothing but Python basics. So this is my parent repository. So yes, I do have the parent repository here. And then this one, is, it's, it's a new branch, I want to change it. So the first thing we have to do is check out uh, to your uh, branch, which we have already done. Uh, and then you have to check out uh, to their new uh, repository. So the one we have is origin repository. So we need to set the new repository over here. So in order to set the new repository, you have to type git remote add. As you can see, you can't add. Let's try. If you have not, if you don't have, uh, if you don't see new here, you can try this one. Since in my case, I already have a new, uh, we're going to get the error. So let's see what the error is. Git remote add new. And then I need the repository link. So to get the repository link, let me go to the password manager. So this is the new repository. I'm going to copy 
add the repository let me paste it here so it's a remote new already exist as you can see we have the new already exist so in this case if you don't have new you won't get this error but if you have new already you have to replace this new uh, with your uh, new repository link so let's see how to do that so to in order to replace the new which you see over here is by typing git uh, remote set hyphen url new we are targeting new and then okay so the command basically says set the new url as this not the one that we see on the screen so hit the enter now that is set now let's see what are the new uh, remotes we got so as you can see the new is replaced uh, from total race game to password manager and then the second one is my origin good so this is something done so ne the next step uh, that we have to do is we have to add the branch uh, to this new um, repository so in order to do that you know what's the branch name the branch name is password underscore manager so just type git push new you need to use a new keyword here and then the branch name my branch name is password underscore manager now i'm gonna hit enter so that added all the password manager content to my new git repository now let's go back to the git repository and see if it really have uh, added uh, the the repos or not so let's see let me go here this is my password manager as you can see there's nothing here because it's not refreshed now when i refresh i got the files which is there over here to here it was not there before so what we have done we have moved the branch from one of the branches from the python basics to password manager so excellent so the first thing is done secondly the second one is quite tricky imagine you have a branch but it's not empty uh, but i mean it's empty branch but it's not uh, having any files in it so how to do that so let me read this again copy branch files from the existing remote to the new remotes existing empty branch so this time we're going to pick another one which i have already said um, you would have imagined so this is called a uh, flip game project which i had again this is from the same repository python basics so rather than pa password manager i want to move the flip game uh, the card flip game which you can see here I want all these files to be moved to this repository the difference this time is we already have a branch called main and it's not having any files in it so I want to move those files to this main branch so that's the tricky part so let's see how to do that so whatever we have done so far let me open a new uh, terminal first step is always check out to that branch let me check out okay check out so what's the branch name i have all the branch names uh, listed here so it's called it's called card flip card underscore flip okay so before i do that what am i doing wrong here um i need to see where I am which branch uh, which remote I'm in so the origin should be uh, the Python basics so let's check what's my origin uh, remote is so it's Python basics s that's correct and let's get the branch names hyphen r I want all the branches in the remote okay that's good uh, correct as well so now I want to check out to this uh, branch let me check out git check out card underscore slip yes this is the branch name and I'm gonna check out yeah so now this is switched to the branch uh, let's give a few seconds until we get all the files refreshed okay so we got uh, the files refreshed here so is the program program works fine okay so there's no uh, panda uh, importer here that should be fine we are not worried about the errors for now but yeah that's the file so i want all these files to be moved to the new 
uh, repository at the existing branch which is called main so how do i do that so yeah now we have checked out uh, to this again change the new repository so remote sorry get git remote hyphen git remote hyphen v so as you can see the new branch uh, the, the new re remote repository here is password manager now i want to change it to the one that i created it for card flip game so let's get the link for that card flip game and then set git space remote space set hyphen url space new set the new as the one we copied here yes now the set you are new is set to card flip game which is good now as we did previously we are going to push this branch to card flip game we're going to push um, we're going to push the branch uh, card flip to this one over over here so let's see git push new and then what's the branch name so branch name is card underscore flip right so let's hit enter okay now we've pushed the files let's go back to the git repo refresh it let's see if you have a branch so let's say we have yep we have a card flip branch here and we, it, this has all the files now i want to move all these files to this main which contains nothing so let's see how to do that so we have our branches here uh, the card flip is in card flip game python and now we need to merge uh, the card flip to the main uh, branch at the moment the main is empty so that's the task let's see how to do that so in order to do that you need to change your origin back to your card flip game uh, it might be the python basics in my case before so you need to move it to the branch where you have your main folder which is an empty branch exist and then you do the git fetch so once you do the git fetch you should get your uh, repositories uh, up to date so now if you check the repositories i mean the branches up to date so now if you want to check the branches um, let's try git branch hyphen r and now you can see you have the branches here now let's check out to the uh, remote let's check out let's see which branch we are in uh, now let's check out to the first let's check out to the uh, card flip uh, git check out space hyphen hyphen track this is this is what you need to do when you have a multiple brand multiple uh, repositories uh, in my case otherwise you can skip this hyphen hyphen track so i'm going to give origin slash i have to check out to the card flip uh, card underscore flip so f caps flip and uh, a branch name already exists so let me get check what's my current branch git branch hyphen hyphen show hyphen current so i'm already at the car flip so i'm good to go so once i'm in that branch uh, all i have to do is you have to check out to the main git check out but always make sure that your origin is uh, the one that you have the main uh, branch in it so let's check out to the main git check out hyphen hyphen track origin slash main and then it's switching to the main now let's do git merge and the branch name but you want to merge flip click on enter so it refuses to merge the unrelated history so let's pass that command allow hyphen unrelated hyphen histories so now press i 
you need to insert a command let's pass it as test and then press escape key then single quotes wq press enter now we got all the insertions added um, here git push hyphen new git push have a new origin space main yeah so you need to do git push have a new origin space main now if i can go back to the main i should see the files same as the cock flip so that's how you push it hope it and there were a few hiccups i had during my second task uh, which is this one uh, to copy so basically what happened i had in my mac the git had st stored the old branches all of these are like old branches associated with the new um, repository so in order to eradicate that i have to use a few git commands i have to get rid of uh, get rid of the few um, if you also have such issues please uh, comment below i will share the git commands to get rid of it basically uh, i was trying to get rid of it with git fetch uh, new and then git fetch origin hyphen hyphen p r u n e and so by typing this it gets rid of all the existing branches in the local and it freshly fetches from the remote so that's one hiccup i had and secondly um, i had the main branch the branch in the name of main uh, stored locally so every time i switch to my remote main it fetches the files from the local so what i had to do i had to delete uh, all local uh, git branches uh, so in order to delete that i have used uh, a command uh, for that as well uh, the one that deleted all my uh, files so the command is basically let me let me find that for you so i had to do git branch uh, i can't see that here so i had to do uh, git branch hyphen hyphen okay let me try yeah, here so basically you, I, I hope you got the point i had a hiccup over there so i had to uh, get rid of uh, the branch so yeah basically i had to use this git branch i grab hyphen v master so this would delete all the local branches so i i literally deleted all my local branches because it's, it was constantly copying from a local branch so if you come across if you have already played with multiple repos repositories and you are coming across this sort of issues this commands might help i'll leave all the commands in the description below uh, plus if i miss anything please call it out in the comments we can discuss there thanks for watching this uh, video till here